So, you have successfully dual booted your computer with Windows and Linux. But, after rebooting the system, you are getting this error. Well, I know that. In my case, I'm having this no such partition error, but sometimes you'll get an error called as unknown file system or you'll get some directories errors. So, in this video, we're gonna see how to fix that. Let's get started. So first, when you get this error, please don't panic. The reason behind this error is because of that the Linux partition where you install the Linux, the partition has entirely corrupted or you have accidentally or manually deleted the partition using your disk manager. Otherwise, in some case, Linux will corrupt by its own. In that case, you can just type ls for listing out the partitions inside your hard disk and then just type ls and type in my case I am gonna check the first partition HD0 comma MS DOS 2 so let's just type ls and then bracket HD0 HD0 comma MS DOS 2 and close the bracket hit enter you can see the file system is unknown and from here just type and we're gonna just check the second partition which is nothing but HD0 MS DOS 1 so type LS space bracket HD 0 comma MS DOS 1 close the bracket so you get this error sometimes you'll get the the format uh, external journal 4 or file system is external journal 3 you get that error but in my case the file system is unknown and I don't have any partitions here in that case just type set and you will get this so this is the HD 0 MS DOS file this is a hidden partition and from here type set boot set boot equals and just type the ID HD 0 comma MS DOS 5 and then close the bracket hit enter and type set prefix and equals bracket HD 0 comma ms-dos 5 and close the bracket and hit enter and from here just type set prefix set prefix equals bracket hd0 comma ms-dos 5 close the bracket and give slash boot slash grub okay and finally type in smart in smart normal so you can see that in my case I'm having this no such partition error because in my case I deleted the partition by myself but sometimes you won't get this error and for them just type normal and then you will get the grub screen but it is not in my case so for that um, you need to create a bootable drive of Windows for fixing this error I knew that I've already made this video on this particular topic of how to fix grub bootloader errors but I knew that that the quality of that video is very poor so for that I need to make this new video so hello everyone welcome to cyber cypher I'm sh I have I have shut down my computer or laptop and no such partition entering rescue mode okay and now let's just create a bootable drive of Windows shall we one eternity later 
So right now I'm inside another computer. So you can see that I have the Windows 10 ISO file. So I need to create a bootable drive of this ISO file. For that, open a browser and then type Rufus dot IE hit enter and then just scroll down and here this is the latest version of Rufus 3.13 so it's so uh, small you can see that 1.1 MB so download that So you can see that it has downloaded. Now launch Rufus. So you can see that yes and I have Rufus and also you will be required a pen drive or a USB drive stick which is containing about uh, 8 gigs of free space in it. So you can see that this is my uh, USB drive. It has about a 16 GB of free space. So click select and locate the ISO file. Windows 10 you can see there. Just click open. Okay. And now make it as MBR. You should not be in GPT. It should be in MBR. And then don't change any settings. And then click start click OK so after it completes you should boot your computer with the USB stick which we made before and there are uh, several hotkeys for doing that in my case I'm having a Lenovo laptop a Lenovo ThinkPad E520 just hit enter and now it will boot into the windows installation so we're not going to install windows we're just gonna repair windows so from here just click next and then instead of install now click repair your computer so you can see that we have three options here click troubleshoot and advanced options and from here click command prompt and we have command prompt just executed as administrator and now from here just type bootrec slash fix mbr hit enter you can see that the operation is completed successfully and that's good that's a good sign from here just type boot Rec flash fix boot hit enter the operation completed successfully and that's also nice and from here you need to mount the partition where you installed windows for that just type disk part so it will take some time okay and from here just type list disk you can see that this is the uh, only hard disk that I'm having so it's showing as disk 0 so from here just type select disk 0 hit enter type list volume and from here you can see that I have I'm ha right now I'm having about uh, 48 gigs and this is where I've installed my Windows and this is nothing but the recovery partition for Windows this 500 um, megabytes and this is the uh, stick which we've booted right now and so this is where I've installed Windows so for that it's uh, in my case it is volume 2 so for that just type select volume 2 and now volume 2 is the selected volume and from here just type assign or assign 
so this part successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point so from here just type exit we have done and now just click turn off your computer and from here start your computer normally and you have windows you have successfully booted into windows right now i hope you like this video guys please make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit that like button and comment down below whether this method is worked for you and bye